people making these kind of comments on the floor of the house they this are going to very, that extent this is a very interesting number on the screen most people want an immediate suspension of ramesh bidori exactly and this again majority of the even bjp voters are barka saying the same thing that forget about the inquiry forget about what we saw on the screen what we see on the national tv he said that he should be immediately suspended then and there but i tell you one thing one data which was concerned uh, i mean actually concerned me a lot and ideally speaking if uh, if the strategists of the bjp are uh, are really looking at these numbers they should be concerned a lot as well for a simple reason that there there are two set of questions barkal at we ask one should the bjp take the disciplinary action 71% yes but will the bjp take uh, such an action there is a big number i'm sure they said that probably this this rhetoric these things these things are going to be just left and see yeah. that's the number yeah. 41% saying no they don't believe so 71% saying bjp should be taking a decision um, uh, a disciplinary action and half of those number wipes out if then they ask will the bjp take so do so that i believe should be a sorry state that i believe should be an alarming signal for the bjp decision makers that public has started thinking so low of them in that way so uh, unless they do not take any decision on biduri and they prove public right this is not going to help them i am not saying that this is a decision this is a this is an issue which is going to change the entire 2024 election of or anything yeah but but cumulatively speaking this is something which will add up to the disappointment of the, even the bjp supporters yeah i want to actually bring up the slides of how you looked at this data through the eyes of nda voters if we can have that because you know one of the things that sometimes said is that the bjp doesn't act uh, because uh, okay hang on so this is will this damage bjp's efforts to woo uh, pasmanda muslims and um, more than 65% actually say yes but these are all nda voters these are nda voters who are saying biduri's remarks are going to damage bjp's efforts to woo pasmanda muslims B nda voters also this the proof this isn't just congress voters saying what biduri did was wrong even nda voters and we have that side also disapprove of what uh, biduri said and find it absolutely unacceptable if yeah can we can we go to nda voters yes yeah, 62.5% of nda voters want bjp uh, to can we go to the next slide please Yes, should BJP take disciplinary action against Biduri? Sixty-two point five percent of NDA voters. I want you to talk about this because Ramesh Biduri was just given some poll responsibility in Rajasthan, even while the show cause notice against him is yet to be answered. These are the NDA's own voters. Exactly, and I I don't think these uh, numbers should uh, uh, are anywhere near celebratory remarks. You know, if the BJP is thinking that okay. this is like another way of uh, of uh, you know uh, putting up a hindu hindutva mascot in front of the people and it is going to help them i think they are reading it wrong you know somewhere down the line people have that sense of uh, uh, deep sense of what is acceptable and what is absolutely unacceptable down the line people understand that some things are wrong something in the society in the heat of the moment in the in the bahasbaji outside in the mohalla street thug levelry kind of thing people say that they they name it that way on the floor of the house there the decorum has to be maintained and where people look it to the parliamentarians that they will behave in a certain manner as their representative if the people are not finding them good enough and and i mean it pains me to say the gentleman is elected by south delhi lok sabha seat you know yeah. uh, the elitist of the elite if india can see in that way i don't think people are approving of that and it is heartening actually barka to see that such an overwhelming number of the bjp and nda voters are unaccepting that are saying loud and clear this is wrong and this should not go unpunished final question on this you know uh, the bjp uh, 
has a clear message in this survey. Their own voters, overwhelming majority, does not approve of what Viduri said. The BJP then would be well advised to pay attention to these numbers instead of conflating noise on social media where some people may have said, kya galat hai, kya, and what about the, ki Udenedi Stalin also said this. Udenedi Stalin is facing a legal case for his comments on Sanatan Dharm, right? So my question yes. to you is, if you were to look at these numbers politically and decode them for the BJP, what would be the one big political message from these numbers? I think there is a very big political message for the BJP and the opposition alike. When we did a snap poll on the Sanatan Dharma, Equally large number of people who are opposition voters said what Stalin said was wrong, should not have been said, and he should apologize. You know, and equally bigger number of uh, BJP voters are saying what Mr. Biduri has said is completely unaccepted and he should, he should unconditionally apologize. If not, he should be disqualified, he should be thrown out. You know, so what is, people are very clear in their mind. What is funny here, Barkha, neither the BJP leader nor the opposition somehow on some of the issues, they are not clear. And that is what amazes me on that way, <laughs> that one might think of uh, some kind of polarization politics, which helps them sometimes, understandable. People play ideological crowds, understandable. That is also fine. But even while saying, uh, and I say it with full responsibility, Bakha, that worst of the things can be said in the most civil way. We all agree to disagree, but there are Lakshman Rekhas or uh, you know which are never to be crossed you know and i think this was one lakshman reka which was crossed and public is not accepting that I, I, I will say in the end, when I say thank you to you, Yashwant, is that both your surveys on the external dimension and the internal dimension reflect to me the great wisdom of the Indian voter, uh, that on issues that really matter, Indians can come together. And even on divisive issues, politically, people who are polling on Amesh Bidori may be poles apart, but they're able to find a common ground, both on how to respond externally and how to respond internally is the wisdom, the sagacity of the Indian voter, the maturity of the Indian citizen. And that's a very important takeaway. Thank you so much, Yashwant. Uh, it's always great talking.